Welcome back to Sports Predictions Gone Wrong, a series that proves all of us are only human and embarrassing predictions often get the best of us. And then we shine a light on those takes as both a source of smiles and a lesson about making predictions in the future. They're also still fun to look back on at the end of the day. As usual, it should go without saying, but to some it might need to be made clear anyway that we're not totally dragging anyone here and neither should you. You don't want to be on the wrong end of a bad take. So, who's first up this time around? Oh look, me. Yeah, so I, the person narrating this video, need to hold myself accountable, because I messed up. So MLB.com and the AtBat app have interactive brackets every postseason where people can predict the outcomes of the impending playoffs. I did that, as did many others. This was my bracket for 2019. As you can see, both wildcard teams were wrong, the World Series winner was wrong, and the entire National League also wrong. For those of you who like fancy stats, a whopping 0% of my National League predictions panned out. To make matters worse, I had the eventual world champions getting knocked out in one lone game. Just goes to show how crazy this postseason was and how games aren't won on paper. You still gotta play the games at the end of the day. And when they played the games, they went nothing like how I thought they would. At this point, you can't deny that the New York Knicks are struggling. It's been that way for some time, and the franchise hasn't given analysts much of a reason to expect a lot from them. Don't tell that to 2016 Derrick Rose, though. After joining the Knicks that offseason, he said that he had heard other people saying that they were considered a super team, like the Warriors. Completely disregarding the wasn't me angle of that point and giving him the absolute benefit of the doubt here, let's see how that turned out. At the time of this take, the Warriors just signed Kevin Durant, would go on to win the next two NBA Finals, and were immediately coming off of a 73 win regular season. In about three and a quarter seasons since then, roughly, the Knicks have 84 total wins, and were apparently supposed to be in the same tier as a team immediately coming off of 73 in one year. But yeah, people said these two were alike. What is basketball? What is it? What is it? What is it? Is this, is this basketball? Is that basketball? D. Rose was only a Nick for that one season. His sources were not onto something. The next take is from a friend of the channel, not the expert, a really friendly guy who you'd never peg to be on a list like this. Not only did Drew have an inaccurate prediction, he had a vulgar inaccurate prediction. A real shocker indeed. To quote Drew directly, not to be rude, but you are a complete jack if you think Murray goes first overall. Whoa, slow down there. You're not gonna catch me repeating that language, man. What if my grandma sees this? I'll have to put soap in my mouth for a week. Maybe a year, actually. Anyways, who went first overall in the draft two months later? Yeah, not exactly not the expert's finest hour. Speaking of which, here's not the expert to lend a hand and analyze some more predictions gone wrong for you. Just want to say thanks, Mike and SRS for having me on. As a man who is a jackass and knower of cold takes, let's talk some of the coldest of the cold. 2013 Iron Bowl, a play was reviewed where TJ Yeldon stepped out of bounds to put another second back on the clock. Most Bama fans were excited to get a chance at a game-winning field goal, or at worst, a miss would send the game into overtime. Hence why this fan tweeted, if you're saving, why not try a 57-yard field goal? Nothing to lose. However, losing is exactly what Bama did, and what followed was one of the most surprising and memorable plays in college football history. Chris Davis, kick six, Auburn wins the football game, War Eagle. 2016 NFL regular season was dominated by the Dallas Cowboys and their new star duo Dak Prescott and Zeke Elliott. By December 6th, they had the best record in football at 11-1, which prompted this fan to tattoo Super Bowl 51 champions on his shoulder. In an interview, he was so confident in his prediction, the fans stated, I don't think we're gonna lose another game, and no doubt in my mind it's working. But hilariously enough, the Cowboys would go on to lose three of their next five games, including a loss to Aaron Rodgers and the Packers in the divisional round of the playoffs. So much for that first round bye. That's gonna be painful to remove. I don't even think we're gonna lose another game. What happens if it doesn't work 
out the way you want. What do you do with the tattoo? No doubt in my mind, it's working now. Speaking of Aaron Rodgers, in 2015, he lost a game against the Bears in which the Packers failed on a game-winning drive. Skip Bayless obviously took this opportunity to tweet out that Aaron Rodgers was unclutch, even despite the Packers receivers dropping a pass in the end zone twice. The very next week, Rodgers would have one of the most iconic and clutch moments of his career in which he threw a 61-yard walk-off Hail Mary for the win to Richard Rodgers, which later became known as the Motown Miracle. Goes to show you tweeting whatever is popular at the time can come back to bite you. Like what happened with me. Sorry for doubting you, Kyler. Thank you so much for watching and big thanks to Not The Expert for coming on and contributing. His channel is linked in the description and I personally highly recommend his content if you want to go check him out. Feel free to leave any additional predictions gone wrong in the comments if any come to your mind. And maybe next time one of these videos is made, we hopefully won't have to be the ones who messed up again.